Okay, so you you went to go on a ride on your XR650L and your speedometer quit working. So today we're going to try and show you how to diagnose that. I already unplugged the speedometer cable and I spin it with the screwdriver and it works. So the problem is down in here. Okay, so we got to go in here. We got to back this guy out while holding the camera. There we go and not topple the bike over or strip the screw out, right? That's the real trouble. Okay. So this unplugs from here. This pulls out. Almost. Maybe today. There we go. So our first sign we got trouble is when we spin the wheel, this little gear in here should be turning and it's not at all. There's a little tooth in there. It looks about like the top of a flathead screwdriver. So what we can do to check and see if our speedometer works. So, and there's two different ways to spin this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna imitate like we have the speedometer working. So we're going to hook this up and spin it. Trying to do too many things at once. So our cable is good or good enough because that's me turning it with the screwdriver. So we know the cable's good, which to be frank, I was hoping it was just the cable and I didn't have to take this all apart. Let's see, and knowing Honda, I'll bet you that's a 10 millimeter. Yep. We're gonna wipe down the threads a little bit first. Try and clean this out. Okay. Now we're gonna back these up a little bit and we're gonna loosen this main nut if we can for the axle shaft. I think it's just easier that way. Okay, and that's loose, that's good. It's one of the few times that being loose is actually good. Okay, so this larger guy is a 17 millimeter. I sure hope you're not using American standard stuff on a Honda motorcycle. Okay, so that should be... Oh yeah, I forgot. So there's a second nut over here that I believe has to come out. And it's probably knowing Honda 13. No, I lied, okay. This is a 12 millimeter. Okay, so this little brosif comes out first, or comes out, and it's hooked into this shaft, so it's not coming apart unless you do that. I'm trying not to get the camera super dirty, so this should start backing out now. There we go. We're going to pull these guys off. When you do put this back together, there's an up orientator right there, so you don't flip it the wrong way. Okay, so far so good. Okay, I'm going to set the camera down for a minute here. If I remember right, this has to run out. Yeah, it's backing out. Okay, that comes out, we'll set that down. So now we can look at the speedometer drive and try and figure out what the heck happened. It looks like it's just stripped out. Okay, so, uh, you should just come out, yep. There's our front wheel, if you ever need to take the front wheel off an XR. Very similar process here. So the way this guy works, is it's supposed to spin but apparently it's locked up 
Yeah, so... So this dude turns in here and then, yep, turns our drive. Okay, so the wheel side just has these two metal prongs inside of it that turn. Well, I mean, they turn with the wheel. That's how it drives, just two prongs that stick out. So the wheel side looks okay, which is good. So that's super gummed up. I pulled, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to come apart, I pulled lightly on this, and then I just was playing with this and started spinning it out, and it started backing out. I'm not moving the camera for a while because my hands are too dirty. And so the way that works is these teeth interact with this and drive this. I'm All right, and we are back. So, I took a day or two for the parts I needed to show up. But, so Honda wheels, the plastic repair piece you need. This is the part number, 44806 Michael whatever Y is, 6771. And they also sell a little washer type spacer thing that is 44809, 44, or excuse me, 402000. So here's what I noticed with mine. I'll just show you really quickly. My old piece, was a little bit different from the new piece. I don't know if that was just age from running around in there or what, but this new piece, or excuse me, this old piece actually was worn down flat against the gears. The other piece, this looks like it's working so good, but anyways, the new piece actually sticks out a little bit. And I don't know if this is just worn down from like 20,000 miles or what and obviously it's stripped out up at the top if you compare it to the other one although it doesn't really look that badly stripped but apparently it was um i ended up using two of those honda washers on here and i don't know if i should have done that but i figured there'd be enough play in the system and enough wear that it wouldn't hurt and they were cheap and this thing seems to be working really good now again which is amazing throw a little bit more grease in there just to keep things a but yeah as you can see our drive works again on our speedometer so i will button this up and we will do a final test um it's really not that hard to put all this back together and i'm sure there's another video of that so i'm just going to shut the camera off get it back together and we'll show you when it's done.